I have currently arrived at Philadelphia, ready to take an Uber or a taxi, get to the Airbnb with the rest of the crew. I'll meet them for the first time, actually, and probably get to draft immediately. No time to waste. I have arrived at my destination. Should be somewhere around here. We are here at the registration. This is where the PT will be taking place. Ballroom A, it appears. My teammate Gavin <coughs> is about to give a deck deck for his uh, mono green devotion deck. Well, I'm observing from, from the back seat. I actually got at first invited to do a deck deck, then put an email declining me that opportunity as it seemed like Ragdos Sacrifice, which ended up being my choice for the tournament, has already been covered. Here we have a stage where all the most uh, high stakes matches are gonna happen, I guess. And the rest of the hall. Alright, bros, we got the packages from the registration times for the grand unboxing. We got a secret lair, Jay's the Mind Sculptor. We got yet another magic backpack, which is going to be the seventh in my collection. And in the backpack, we've got a bag with very nice Elishnorn playmat. On top of that, we've got a very nice Elishnorn playmat. Actually, might be a Traxa. <laughs> Tech box. Mystery boosters. Collector boosters. Secret Lair Drop Series. Wayne Reynolds. Traditional foil edition. An arcane signet foil. And a bunch of more boosters. So I think the contents are actually the package from the registration for the for the Magic Con. We're done registering, we've done an on-site draft with the group. Drafted a nice deck, unfortunately did not take a photo because I we're actually rushing to get the food at a nice uh, Korean barbecue place. All right, it's the day of the Pro Tour. Here, we are here with uh, Gavin, ready to battle. Yeah, yeah, excited. It's 7.30 in the morning, we're gonna be catching an Uber soon to get there. I feel okay. I yeah, mean, uh, we spent lots of time drafting, doing stuff. I think I learned a lot. I think uh, I have uh, learned a about a few spots where I would want to, for example, pick blue cards, which is the consensus worst color in the third. I'm just hoping to draft green cards. That's also a good plan. In there. Everyone is gathering at the venue, getting ready. Big news for, for Cancer Vlog. Misplaced Ginger is here with us. I tapped you. How are you doing, Derek? How are you feeling about this tournament? I'm feeling okay. I feel like this is probably the tournament I prepared the most for, and you know, if I'm not feeling good for this tournament, I'm probably never feeling for, good for a tournament ever. You probably spend around three to four full weeks playing Red Black Mid Ranges. Might, yeah, might like, be underestimating the amount. Of yeah, yeah. Full is in like also not sleeping. Yes. Yes. Oh, trust. That's yeah. What I, mean. I, I just love the grind, you know. What about limited? I played a bit of limited. If you see a blue rare, will you pick it? Depends on what the blue rare is. Is it like a Kaito? Or is it like a, like a blue sun zenith? Let's say zenith. 
Twilight. Yeah. Depends on the rest of the pack, because there's a lot of like good uncommons and good commons that I would pick over that card, because I don't want to be in blue. Mm. But like, if I think that I can put somebody next to me in like red, maybe I'll try to hold blue, because it's really bad and people will pass bad blue cards. What if you put them in blue by giving them the Twilight? No, I'll take another card. All right. Hold number 13 for me. Wow. I'm lucky number. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sitting down. Your head judge, Kevin McRae. Remember, your judges are here to help you. If you need anything, just stick your hand in the air and yell judge. It's their favorite thing. <laughs> Alright, here's Kevin. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you, Scott. Like Scott said, welcome back to the Pro Tour. Uh, it's great to see so many players playing Paper Magic. I know that for me, seeing people actually playing with cards. It's quite nice, so thanks a lot for coming. Me and the judge staff as well, we're here to provide you with an outstanding experience. So please involve us, chat with us. If you have an issue in your game, call us. We're here for that, and we kind of like it. That's why we're here. Your deck. On Drop the zone. Uh, I have... I think a solid deck. Six Got pretty lucky, opened the... Uh, Sort of red and green in the first pack. Then uh, got a pretty late pack one anxious retrofitter. So it assembled into something that made sense. So overall a blue blue white artifact aggro. Blue in general sucks in the set, but I think there is time and place to draft it. I think it's potentially was one of the times. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I escaped the draft sounds, I picked 2-1. Pretty happy, would lock it in, uh, if I wouldn't know. What about you, Matthias? Same, 2-1 drafter. Yeah, With a 3 or deck, but... Yeah, still. given your deck, uh, yeah. that <laughs> could be considered a failure. Yeah. Only a small one. Well, I need to get specifically profit sleeves, because if I don't get those, my few foil witches oven will raise suspicion, which I wouldn't want to do. Where my sleeves? It's uh, like the Magic Con part, which is centrally separate in a different part of the building from the Protur area. Uh, we actually go over there, we can see there is some extremely funny game shows with Riley Knights and some other Magic stars, if you know them. There's plenty of side events like eight uh, dealer uh, stands, it's an Elish known player, you know, all that kind of just. Let's go back to the PT area. Hey, look who I met! Yo! Cherry XT man, right here in person at the PT. How was your draft experience? Did you do well? I went 2-1. Uh, paper Same. Magic's hard. I, I don't like it. Drafting, do drafting's hard. Do you play Paper at all? No. No time for buying it. Excited? No. I think it's gonna be fun still. Yeah, it'll be fun. Hello. We are after the first Pioneer round. You might wonder who is uh, this player, and it's nobody else than uh, is Einstein. Hello, Einstein, exactly. Yes, exactly. A uh, frequent member of the chat and uh, shit poster in the chat. Now playing a tournament. How are you doing? Very well. One free. <laughs> Could be better, but uh, we are all here for the experience. Did you actually play any paper PDs uh, before that? It's my first. Yeah, do you like it here? It's a, it's a different experience. In this, in this tournament, you can realize the five monkeys average. I attacked oh, yeah. attack with my fire against him. Well, that happens to the best of us. Status update. Lost the first two Pioneer rounds. Got uh, destroyed by Lotus Field in the first one. Possibly made a game altering mistake, hard to say. Um, round two of Pioneer I lost against uh, Brightus Midrange. Really drawn out, three games. Definitely didn't play at the top of my... Uh, this year. Two free, need more wins, two more wins, two more wins to get to day two. Bros, I won. I won a round, free free. But I really need an energy drink or a coffee. I had a coffee stand over there, but they don't have it anymore. They took it down because 6 p.m. So maybe it's reasonable, but I think I'm not operating at my full capacity today. I'm here with Lucas. 
Fromme. Lucas Fromme. My teammate from the Super Rats team. How is, how is your joy today? How is your tournament today? It is very joyful. Um, my deck is really fun. I'm playing a uh, four-color Omnet pile. Um, apparently, it's called Omnet to Light. And last game, That's I a cringe name. Like, I hate it. <laughs> I, I do too, but it's it's the official name now. Yeah. Um, and last game, I had a Tybalt in play, and I stole the treasure cruise from my Phoenix opponent. And I had seven cards in my graveyard, so I drew three for one mana, and I think he didn't like it. But it was really fun. That's very demoralizing. Yes. Um, the tournament is great. My deck is really fun. It's your first. Uh, Paper Pity. I've, yes. actually, I've actually watched Lucas attempt to handle paper cards in the dressing house, and it was a sight to be all, certainly. Uh, being mainly an arena player, while like starting playing during the pandemic, right? Yes, yes. It's kind of hard to see a Pity little player who barely can shuffle cards. <laughs> he, plays, he plays them well enough. I, I have played six rounds, and I've not gotten a warning yet. Right, I'm here with Ben Jones. Ben Jones. Yet another member of Suarez, they keep coming, there's been, I don't know, how many people were there? Like a dozen, 14, 15? Yeah. So it's the first individual PT that we're experiencing here. You know, how is it? It's pretty good, it's nice playing high level limited. Yeah, I've done that before. Not, not, not often that you do that, yeah. yeah. Not done very well, but that's okay. Are you out of the day two contention? <laughs> yeah, I dropped on one in five. I think there is some yeah. PTQs for people who want to play like straight PTQs for the next one. Yeah, someone I'm going is into to see that. All right, good luck in that. Yeah. For free, day two secured. We got there. We got there. Four events. It's grew very easy. Javin Alfafrog Thompson, the founder of the Sewer Rats. How was your day one? How did you finish? I finished 5 3. Least. Want to be a good choice? Uh, I mean, so far, 3 2 with it. So. I also got 5 3, and it's really nice. Like, it's really a relief to get 5 3 because then you. And I feel like I participated in the entirety of the Pro Tour. Yeah, I mean, my goal was to draft again tomorrow, and so when I got that fourth win, I was just like clicking my heels on the end. I have grown to enjoy this limited format yeah, took, after learning a little bit of what can you do in it. So uh, I've also am looking forward to what's that, and just the occasions to draft at high level are so rare, right? Yes, it's just it's so much different than anything else you'll ever find. Like the Pro Tour drafts never are exactly like what what I would expect. It's always yeah. something fresh and. New and yeah, it always feels <laughs> different than a league draft on model. Just like the extent to which the good cards don't table has been pretty surprising for me when I started drafting at the PDs. Yeah, I think a lot of people after the draft are like, did I get enough playables? Which almost never happens yeah. in like arena or casual play. Yo, we're here with uh, Mike Sigrist. How did your day one go? Spectacularly, I think, yeah. 3-5, just lost to Yuchi Yukawa, playing for day two. Okay, but maybe score-wise not so good, but how was it vibes-wise? Good vibes? Oh, good vibes, good vibes. I'm glad to see everybody. I didn't appreciate being in a 10-person pod, but... Oh, you did? Mm. I actually never did that. I, I, was I know, older. it's weird, because you don't wheel anything, and it's just hard to, like... Yeah. It's harder to get signals, because a lot of it is, like, look at the cards, the end of pack one. I was... I'm going to hang out with Paulo and sulk a little bit first, though. Paulo didn't make it either? No. Yeah. Well, I guess he's not world champion anymore. No. Hashtag washed. Hashtag washed, yeah. And overall, like, PD, PD vibes are pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah. Felt like a real PT. Yeah, it does recapture the, the feeling a of the A little smaller. Ones. When it's a little bigger, it'll be more exciting, I think, because the room will be fuller. But yeah, it felt like a real PT. All right, how did the rats do day one? Kevin? 6-2. Day 2-4. 2-5, actually. Six Even two. better. 6-2. 5 and 3. 5 and 3 as well. 5 and 3 myself, yeah. Overall, pretty good scores. Yeah. I think we did pretty well. Yeah. Yo, Will Alex B. Hi. How are you? Will is uh, helping with the coverage. Yes. Holding the handhold. I'm the guy that keeps pressing the button. Yeah, you're, you're the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're all the backstage knowledge of what's going on now. Yeah. That's it. So, good. my it? one question to you is. Was it fulfilling today? Very fulfilling. I've learned a lot. I also know my pass was in pieces. Oh no, there's another one. Ray. I took Did you start winning? Yeah, I started winning. See, I told you. I ran it up. I got three in a row.
So what, does that thing see as well? I'm 5'3", yeah. yeah. See both, oh, maybe you can see each other tomorrow. That'd be brilliant. Oh, I'd love that. Taking Magic players down at the Ram Ranch. Mason. I love it. I barely know you, but you can join the vlog too. Can I say hi? How was your experience at the PT? Did you play? I had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was qualified. I played. Did you play? What? No day two? No day two, no, I died. So that just means you have more time for leisure activities. Exactly, I get to hang out, do whatever, you know. Or the world's hardest PCQ on Sunday. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I know, I'll probably play it, but I got nothing else to do. So yeah, do it. And that's the end of day two, day one. Day two will begin tomorrow. <laughs> nice dinner. Five guys. Okay, good. I agree with Alright, I'm back at the venue for day two. Here with me, Simon Nielsen. How are you doing? Doing pretty well. I mean, you know, it's a morning, so I'm not doing like great. Yesterday I was kind of tired for, for, for like the first five, five rounds or so. I think, yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I got kind of jet lag. I didn't drink a coffee in the morning, and I think I will rectify this mistake uh, today. There's free coffee at the tournament hall. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, draft this morning will be called by Matt Williams. Good morning, everyone. Once again, congratulations on making day two. Second draft is done. I think I have a pretty decent deck. Got lucky, opened the on color bombs pack uh, two and three. Pretty weird table in general. Blue was uh, seemingly not drafted by anyone, uh, yet the cards in blue that were passed were not particularly strong either. So it would be understandable that nobody actually wanted to commit to, to those. Instead, I was uh, getting not too many cards, like I ended kind of barely having 23 playables. But at the same time, all of my cards are pretty high quality, so not a bad place to be in. I'm feeling okay about this one. All right, hello, I'm here with Maro himself. Hello. <laughs> it's nice to meet the face of Magic. I have a one very important question for you. Okay. Will there be more squirrel cards in 2023? Uh, I try to get as many squirrel cards in Magic as I can. And little by little, I've been converting the rest of R&D into squirrel fans. So I, I, I think, you, you'll notice over the last couple of years, squirrels have been making more and more appearance in, in, in Magic, so. Certainly. I, I can't guarantee this year, but I can guarantee the trend is upward. The squirrel trend is going upward. Yo, Derek, do you want a donut? Uh, no, thank you, canister. Uh, sugar actually really fucks with my sinuses and irritates my body. Uh, I think I'm just getting old, but maybe I have like diabetes or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, like, if it would impact your performance at the tournament, then there's no way you should eat a donut, eat, eat a donut right now. It's just body beat. Yeah, I think, uh, I think having too much sugar before a tournament is a really bad idea because it really, it really fucks with your brain. And I think that y your brain needs to be able to process the magic thing so it can't focus on fo like processing all the sugar. So why it's important to have like grains yeah, and a we, lot of we only water. Have, we only have so much processing power. Derek, Derek, that's the famous streamer. Yellow hat. Yellow what? Yellow hat. Yellow hat. <laughs> Alright, after two rounds of limited, I'm 0-2 today. And I lost a few fairly pathetic games, so uh, that's kind of not based. 5-5 uh, five, five right now. Nine wins to qualify. Is that right? Yeah, 9-7. Yeah, 9-7 requalifies. I think that's kind of what I'm striving for right now, so I'll show them. All right, escaped uh, draft rounds away 1-2. Finally, in the last round, the rares lined up. I played the rare after rare, I threw in Green Sun Zenith, Twilight, Ladder, uh, some other stuff. So, just one. Granted, two body didn't line up with in the previous rounds, but that puts me at 6-5 right now. A 3-2 or better is currently my goal in uh, Pioneer. Of course, I will just try to gain as good of a score as I can. So every round, every round is going to be taken separately, but the overarching goal is what it is. It's my top five favorite Magic streamer, wow, Yellow what? Hat. <laughs> Wait, before you asked me for the interview, you said I was your top, top favorite streamer just to, to get me to say yes? Yes. No, your second favorite Magic the Gathering streamer. Okay, after, who's your after favorite? Play, after Misplaced Ginger. Okay, fair enough. I can live with that. So, 
how is it? Does it does it vibe? Is it Pro Tour vibes here? Yeah, yeah, it feels like the Pro Tour, honestly. It's it's it was fun to see all my friends and get in the testing house. The Pro Tour has good vibes. I was doing well until the last couple of rounds. Just yeah. lost two in a row in limited, so I'm eight and three. A position for it. Yeah. Only only thing I wish it was I mean we'll see when there's more people qualified. This one's a little small, but wish there was you know more maybe younger players and your faces maybe or women and girls but we'll see yeah certainly I, it would be nice like we oh. just had a we just had a chat with uh, Huey yeah. the yeah, head of head of organized play, organized I guess, play, I guess. Uh, it would be definitely nice to like have the new generation of players and ignite their sparks so that yeah. they would become the new life force uh, that would make yeah. professional magic the gathering thriving. Yeah. I personally still keep thinking of myself as a one of the youngsters at the Pro Tour, but truth is, this is getting less and less true year after year. So you had a rough draft right now? Yeah, it started really well. I opened the, the, the Pro Red Pro Green Sword, I got a Volt Charge, uh, the, the, the Green 1-1, one -one, so kind of a green star, dream start, you know, Red Green was the best color combo, I had like three great cards. And, mm. uh, I got a bunch of playables, but I never got cheap creatures. I'd like, you know, as consistent as usual. You know, when when you draft online, maybe you get more playables and more stuff. Here, people are certainly like my proto experience is always that you are scraping by. Yeah. The last few picks, people just pick the good cards yeah. that much higher, and it's just, it's just harder. Yo, just played the first round of Pioneer for today with the legend of the game, <laughs> LSV himself. Hey, what's up? Yeah, back when I was in my Magic the Gathering crib, a little. <laughs> Pro Tour baby, let's say, I was yeah. just watching you from home, like, uh, ruling the Pro Tours already back then, so yeah, pretty awesome to, yeah. I guess, finally, for the first time, play against each other in paper, I believe. Yeah, 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 it was, it was a good match. Uh, you took a couple mulligans, but you managed to get there anyway. Yeah, Luis was uh, piloting. Is it creativity? A matchup I was honestly a bit scared of uh, coming in, as my list was not partly well prepared for it, I think, but... Uh, Sacrifices uh, overall a pretty solid deck. So. Yeah, game two I thought I was actually going to get there because I had a. Uh, well, I thought I was dead for I had creativity and negate in hand, and I was going to go next turn and you played mayhem double, mm -hmm. so that didn't work obviously. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, game three I needed an untapped land, which you could was say. A the devil is in the details. The devil is in the details. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Louis. Yeah, of course. Thanks. It was nice meeting you. GG. Round thirteen. Simon Nielsen was my victim. Yet another win, three more rounds, one more for requalification. LFG go. Results from round 14. I have officially requalified for the next PT, which is Whoa, go Minister! Minneapolis. Whoa. I think so, yeah. I think so too, yeah. And frankly, I have to applaud myself for the masterful way I played the matchup. I was paired against Mono Green. And I was just so disciplined. I see my seven card hands came free. Has lands and spells, right? I could play an unlucky witness, then a second one, then a main devil, and but a voice in my head says, no, stop canister. This is not a good decision. You're going to regret that. And I think, yes, I can do better than that. Move to six, it's bad too. Move to five, it's great. And I smash my opponent. Who also moved to five to equalize the odds. After round 15, once again, I emerged victorious. For all today with uh, Pioneer matches. Uh, paired against Is It Creativity once again. Honestly, was very scared of that matchup going into this tournament, seeing that it had a surprisingly high meta share. Turns out, I think their deck is just simply not all that good. So it turns out it doesn't function. They don't have the tokens to target. Like, you fault sees them and they crumble. Lots of things just very easily fall apart for them, like a house of cards. Anyways, what's the score now? 10-5. Uh, going to still battle with the full focus during the last round, because uh, with the rolling point system that we're going to have in place with the new waves of the Pro Tours, I guess, uh, every point matters. And here with me is uh, Tristan. Hi. I'm Nathan Schoyer still is in a top eight contention and like fights. Like, I think so. I don't know exactly what. Is he, I think he's probably playing for top eight. Or I think he needs to win one match of the next two to get top. I don't know yeah, the breaker yeah, math works. Right. But. So I'm not sure how exactly the situation is right there, but I know that you are responsible for discovering a very nice piece of technology. Yeah. In the Lotus Field deck that you're all playing. Yeah. So. 
I was playing Lotus Fuel Jack a lot, and I was playing against Tangrams and Mono Green, and it kept coming up. I mean, I think everyone knows this, that you get yeah, your, like, Masterminds thing. exiled or whatever, and then we wanted some way to, like, win through that. I kept finding myself, like, having to board in Zakama or other, in these weird matchups mm -hmm. to do that. I had, like, mentioned Layer of the Hydra as kind of, like, a, I don't know, kind of, as far as a very out there idea, and we kind of, like, brushed it aside at first, and then, actually, Tangrams pointed out that actually Layer, what we miss is that you can just win on the same turn player, because you can just copy it so, with yeah, stage. Yeah, how does that exactly work? Yeah, so you... Essentially the idea is if your Masterminds is exiled, it's really easy. If, if you don't have Omniscience, it's hard. If you do, it's very easy. You, uh, Assuming you already had a stage in play that turn, you have Omniscience and now all of your pores make 6 mana and all of your strings make 6 mana. So eventually you get up to about 30 mana and then you copy the uh, layer with your stage and then you untap your new new layer that's yeah, a stage yeah. and then and you, you attack. And you use your Otawaras or Hidden Strings Yeah, to and then you use blockers. your strings to tap down all the blockers. You get into these like really deep scenarios. I, wa <laughs> I watched Austin and Abe play like a 25 minute match where he had exiled his masterminds and his strings and he had to like make four layers and attack down the planeswalkers because he had to kill them. It gets, I don't know, there's a lot of this weird stuff, but the oh, layer's been great. World, sorry. Anyways, after we added the layer for that, which it was good, then I also it was just like overperformed everywhere, so yeah. um, it would be like against Red Black. It comes up all the time, especially in these post board games when you trim on threats and stuff that you like flood out. Just attack them. And, and so then I would find myself just like scry. I used to like scry for Temple in those spots, and I'd find myself just scrying for Lair just as mm -hmm. a blocker. And it's like Mono White has to extend into it, and then you play a Wrath or something like that. So very nice piece of technology. I'm really impressed. Like that's 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 so cool. Yeah, it was and, great for me. Yeah, thank great. you very much for the explanation. Definitely. Whoa, look who, who I yeah, met, bros. Vlogging. Oh, it is me, Young Dingo. <laughs> young Dingo, a famous bros. streamer. It is insane, let us connive together. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I'm a and you don't recognize this guy, I certainly did not recognize this guy at first. Yeah. Due to the mask and oh. changes in, in oh. I guess... Uh, My hair. Hair. My yeah. beard, it is growing well, back. A, a second famous, uh, in quotation marks, streamer. Bench. Hello, welcome. So, oh God! <laughs> no, no, oh no! We've got a pretty nice congregation of niche internet celebrities over here. Bros, news from the floor. I guess when you're, we be, gonna you're gonna be watching this, when it's gonna be old news, but Gab Nassif just operated this platter. I just did. Wow! Yeah. Congrats. So like, you have Do you have anything to add? Um, Steve did a really good job, but you're probably alone on a Saturday night, which is pathetic. After the last round, my. Like Final finish, 10-6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy to requalify. Played last round against this fine gentleman. Number five, Cameron Sutton. Yeah, very nice shot. I'm happy impressed by the entire uh, tournament. Yeah, well, this is Alberta, Canada. This is this is what we do. Yeah, you said it's like from a particular uh, type of uh, leather. Uh, yeah, this is beaver. Yeah. Now, beaver's waterproof. When they ask you what you want, you get it with beaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way to do it. You know, if you're ever looking for a cowboy hat, then take this piece of advice. This is it. We had a nice match. Uh, Cameron on Grease Bank. Destroyed me pretty thoroughly. And uh, have, you played, have you played many pieces before? Uh, nope, first pro tour. Yeah, uh, so I'm, I'm a ninth place qualifier kind of guy, so I, I've never actually had the chance to make it. Yeah, so that's a pretty excellent result yeah. for your first PT, so congrats on that. 11 and 5 feels pretty good. We've seen Gap top 8 already, and Nathan, you also did that. Congrats. Did. Thank you. Yeah, very strong result, pretty consistent, very consistent, impressive finishes uh, from you. Thanks. Uh, it's my first PT top 8, but I played a few PTs pre COVID. This is like the return yeah, yeah. since I've gotten good at magic just on some level. So yeah, good, yeah. I'll, I'll say this is my first. Says the world PT. champion. Yeah. First yeah, PT. Yeah. Are you liking your chances? I don't actually know what other people are playing, but I love playing the Lotus Field deck, and I'm feeling confident that I'll I'll draw my Viziers and Lotuses and stages. So yeah, yeah. I'm excited to um, try my best, but I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Eh, it'll pass, but thank you. Yo, we are Sacrifice Brothers, and Matthias just qualified. Requalify for the PT. Yes. For Minneapolis, the next one coming. Uh, one one in the last round. Was it stressful? Oh uh, no. Was it was it? no. Uh, like I mean, it was very stressed before, but since it was red black mid range and it's a good matchup and everything, uh, like I win the die roll, I drew a nice hand, so. So you were in the zone and just won. Yeah, exactly. Best. That's so the best, very yeah. happy. Very best. <laughs> Thank you.
Sewer rats are leaving the premises victoriously. Most of the members requalified for PT Minneapolis won some extra case and most importantly had a great time. So did I. We'll be coming back tomorrow for, for the top eight. Today I'm at the venue uh, doing a cube draft with Lizerk, Julien Henry and a crew of other people. Watching the top eight currently, the I believe semi finals are happening. There's also a PTQ for players who did not manage to qualify, re qualify for the next PT in Minneapolis. They were able to join a Pioneer PTQ for PT players only. So that's nice, yet another opportunity to requalify if you're into that. Uh, thankfully, I was able to dodge that and I, I'm able to relax today fully. Great Duke is the winner of the Pro Tour Bros. <laughs> Alright, I'm here with the winner of the entire thing, Ray Duke. How is it? How does it feel? Oh man, it, it, it feels great. I've played Magic my whole life and I never won a big tournament like this, so I'm on top of the world. Would you say it like crowns your uh, career so far? I think that's fair to say, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you look very happy and well, no wonder. It's, it's pretty cool and you did get better the first uh, paper PT after a long while. Yeah, it feels good to be back. Yeah, we didn't have that for a while. All right, the Pro Tour is over. We're leaving the hall. Uh, we're walking with the group and uh, Julien. You might know Julien as Lizerk42, a moderator from uh, my Twitch. But and also, also sometimes Lizerk43. Oh yeah, yeah. So, occasionally, occasionally. Yeah, that's some ancient lore. Which now we, we've uh, cubed for a little bit with uh, Lizerk's cube, and we are about to head to get some dinner. Currently at the airport in Baltimore. I spent the last two days at uh, Julian's and Sarah's place uh, to air of their son. We've got a nice time. I decided not to vlog from there. Uh, currently walking towards my first flight, which will begin my journey back to Poland. The PT overall a good experience. I had a good time. Congrats to Reed Duke. Excellent deck choice, excellent, uh, well, I don't like deck, but probably an excellent deck choice and uh, excellent play the entire weekend. My personal record I'm fine with. I think my personal deck choice was uh, solid, if not overly right to the heart of the meta. Still, when 7-3 unconstructed, I think 9-1 nine, nine, was in my range had I played better. So, not to be unhappy about that. Uh, met lots of people, recorded this very nice vlog. Overall, I'm stoked to for the PD to be back and the experience to be repeated every three months. Next stop on my magic journey, regional championship in Naples in two and a half weeks. This one's gonna be standard. Since I already qualified for Minneapolis, I will not pay too much attention to the format and I will not prepare too hard, but I'll still go there and compete and maybe, maybe get somewhere. Anything else to add? Mm. I hope you enjoyed watching the candy vlog. And I'll see you back on Twitch.tv as I usually do.